Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. We are back today and we're going to be talking about some more of the finals. Uh, I'm excited. It's update day. We got update 2.3.0 that has just dropped. We got a whole new set of patch notes. They are not very long at all, but the changes that they did implement are honestly pretty significant ones. And we got a new shop. We got a new quest, which we've never had before. So we're going to get into everything. If you guys enjoyed the video, thumbs up is always appreciated. Helps the video reach new people as well. And uh, let's get into this. But yeah, here we are. Update 2.3.0. We got updates, balance changes. Always love to see balance changes. It means you get to try new stuff. And the skill issue discord quest. Uh, the discord quest is actually really unique. We've never had anything like this before. It came out two days ago on April 2nd. And it's really simple. All you got to do is stream footage of the finals, the game to a friend in a server or a private call, and they just gotta watch for 15 minutes. And as long as one person is watching, you get the entire set. Uh, it's, it's straightforward, honestly, it's, it's pretty simple, but this is only available on the PC version of Discord. So I guess you could say this is a PC exclusive cosmetic. I mean, console and PlayStation has had their fair share of exclusive cosmetics since the launch of the game so it's kind of nice to get something of course if you did this on pc and then got the code and then there's cross progression in this game so like i've gotten some of the playstation stuff console players would be able to get this on their account as well but you just got to do it on pc but yeah this is the set right here i'm not even gonna click the vid because it's the best look you get you get the headphones the beanie the shirt the tattoos a set of pants and a set of shoes and they all say skill issue it's it's kind of a cool flex when you kill people but uh, we also got a store update actually kind of hyped to see this um you get some new chicken emotes which i'm pretty hyped about who doesn't love chickens they drop some banging weapon skins here there's a famos actually that you get right there and hold on let me go back a little bit and you can't tell me that doesn't look incredible bro like you got the blue the the grayed out camo and i don't know if that's a new sponsor or not but it's definitely some branding we're seeing along a lot of the cosmetics here um, but yeah, let me, is that a new sponsor? Um, but yeah, we got some Moss, Fcar, and Heal Beam skins there. And that's pretty much it. Um, but we'll get into the actual changes though. The, the meat and potatoes, the patch notes, because this is where things get pretty interesting. I'll zoom in a bit here. Um, first up, we got some balancing um, to the FAMAS. Our beloved FAMAS. Shout out to all the FAMAS users. Uh, they increased the recoil curve recovery delay from 0 0.68 to 0 0.8 and they increase the recoil recovery time from 0 0.8 to one. Um, I do have some footage I'm gonna play over this while I talk about it, um, just because I did go in game and try it out. Essentially, the entire purpose of this balance change was that people who were shooting the weapon slower, so like they're tapping their bursts um, with a little bit of a delay in between them, and then there's other people who are holding down the trigger as fast as they could and like spamming the burst, and it was showing drastically different recoil patterns um, between you know different burst timings, and that was causing a lot of inconsistency in the weapon. More so between players who used it in different ways, but also within the same player who uses it in different ways at different times. So I think this is a really good change. It essentially just delays when the recoil effect kicks in, or the re recoil recovery effect. So I'm sorry, not the recoil, the recoil recovery effect. And uh, yeah, overall, it felt really good in the range. Um, it, just, it just still feels like the FAMAS, but just feels a little bit more consistent shooting it at different timings. Moving on though, we did also get uh, an update to Power Shift. They added Sys Horizon, the new map, to regular Power Shift. I'm honestly so happy about this because I've been playing Bunny Bash like crazy just because I like Power Shift so much on the new map. Um, but now it's not gonna have limited loadouts. You can use everything, regular Power Shift. Uh, and they enabled the new HUD. I didn't get a chance to see this, but I'll have to hop in game and check it out. They said the platform will now deal damage as well to players that are squished underneath of it uh, to fix the issue where you could be punished through the ground when trapped. I don't know if this just means like players are going to take damage when they go underneath of the payload, like if it rocks or whatnot. But yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> I'll have to see. Maybe you'll get some death from getting crushed. Uh, in terms of UI though, uh, they did also make some other fixes. They fixed a bug where the revive tab and respawn coins were swapped in the scoreboard. I'm actually glad. A lot of people caught on to this, but yeah, um, this was this was kind of confusing at times when it first happened. Uh, correct an issue that made the career circuit page appear smaller after viewing rewards on console. I don't play on console, so I never experienced that. And they fixed an issue where bank rabbit bundle couldn't be purchased via the outfit screen. Uh, I actually did see that right at the beginning, but glad that's fixed. Um, so yeah, not, there's not a ton going on here, but once again, all these have been pretty meaningful changes. And this one I'm excited about, uh, Ranked. 
they added an end of match screen to indicate the change in rank. When I initially logged on to check out the FAMAS change in the firing range, I was greeted with this screen right here. So in terms of like the added animation to the end of match rank screen to show when a player is close to going up or down in rank, I'm assuming that this is what it now looks like. So pretty cool. I was able to see it as soon as I got in game. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just your rank an arrow up and an arrow down. Um, I guess, you know, if you're getting closer, the arrows will be pointing up straight forward. And that's pretty much it. They said, please note as well, though, we have a known issue where all players will see the incorrect ranking the first time they boot the game. You can ignore this screen as it will only show once and it will not affect your actual ranking in any way. We decided it was better to go out with this incorrect screen than to hold off on this feature for another week. Um, honestly, that's that's a good call. That is a very good call. I think this is what they're referring to like when the screen I think I just showed you it's not platinum. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's anything to stress a uh, pretty simple patch notes I do like to go over everything with you guys though Keep you updated on what's going on with the game and if you guys want to keep up to date with future updates I mean we're gonna be covering them So make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss those But I do stream every day on twitch as well. I'll be streaming later today uh, sometime in the evening so if you guys want to catch me over there, we'll be playing uh, some more finals. And yeah, I hope to see you guys over there. I appreciate the support you guys have been showing. Thanks for the support here on the YouTube channel as well. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care of yourself. Drink some water. And just, just be kind, bro. Okay? Keep up. Stay up. Peace out.